Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. I'm gonna sit here and tell y'all how I passed AMP1 with a B and AMP2 with an A. Not to mention that AMP2 was accelerated. So if you're trying to get into nursing school or something related to the medical field and you wanted some tips on passing anatomy and physiology online with a high grade, then continue to keep watching this video. So before we get into it, let me give you all a little bit of background about me. I am in the process of submitting my applications for nursing school. I've taken AMP one twice and I've taken AMP two three times. So I am no stranger to anatomy and physiology. I am no stranger to college biology. I'm no stranger to hard work. I just recently finished taking a 2 online and accelerated seven week course. I took about 15 weeks worth of information and crammed it into seven. For the third time, I've taken an admin physiology too. I passed it with an A <laughs> and I'm so happy. So I definitely wanted to come on here and share some of my personal tips that has helped me pass this class with an A. You have to study. There's no way around it. There's no cutting, no shortcuts. You have to open that book every day. Depending on your course, you might be taking it regularly or you might be taking it accelerated. But either way, you have to study. There's no way you can go to class and not know what the heck is going on. Like, no, you have to know. You have to be on point. I would suggest reading the material before you go to class. So if you know that your lecture is going to be on the brain and the nervous system, then make sure you're familiar with the material so you're not going to class looking like a deer in the headlights and not knowing what was going on. You just want to make sure that you're familiar with the material by the time you go to class. The next tip also correlates with the first one. So when you get your syllabus for the course, go over it. I'm not sure where you guys taking this course at, but for me, like when my professor gave us the syllabus, she also gave us each chapter, each section that we were going to be learning. She also gave us um, dates, important dates for test exams, homework dates, quizzes, etc. Know what dates your exam is going to be on, know what dates that homework is due. Just stay ahead of the game. Get you a planner, a personal planner, or if you're like a digital or technology person, write it down on your phone. Don't go into the semester not knowing your test date. In order to get your goals accomplished, you have to prioritize things that are important. Another tip is to analyze your study habits. And what I mean by that is just like knowing what type of learner are you? Are you an active learner? Are you a passive learner? What are your study styles? Are you a visual learner? Do you, are you an auditory learner? If you're not familiar with what that is, it's plenty of free tests on Google that could just help you understand how you retain and comprehend information. So once you analyze your study habits and what type of learner you are, then now you can start to apply how you learn to your test. I survived off flashcards. Stop playing with me. Flashcard me, please. Like I survived off flashcards. I, I genuinely did. Um, flashcards are my best friend. It helped me retain the information and it was like I started to become very, very, very familiar with the information. Another way I learned to study was by visualization. I went on YouTube and I found people that were teaching the same subject that my professor was, but they broke it down in a different way. Like the Khan Academy is so good for me. I freaking love the Khan Academy. The Khan Academy is just, they are just so excellent in explaining certain things, like stuff that's so, it seems so complicated. They break it down in like the simplest way. And what I like about YouTube is that you can pause, go back. If you don't understand something, go back, go back, go back. Quizlet is also also a helpful resource so utilize Quizlet create an account it's free another way you can retain your information is by using your voice memo app on your phone so what I would do is I would fill out my flashcards and then I would go to the voice memo section of my phone and I just would literally record my flashcards and then when I was driving to work driving home from work driving to school I would literally just listen to it. Y'all, I really made sure I retained this information I wasn't playing. I filled out my study guide, then I would do my flashcards. So by the time I'm doing my flashcards, I'm familiar with the questions and answers because I just did it on my study guide. You wanna make sure that you're completing the study guide, you're answering the questions on the study guide at least one week prior to your exam. Nine times out of 10, the study guide is a mirror to your exam. The point of anatomy and physiology, yes, to learn the information and to retain the information, but you also have to burn it in your head. You have to, if you're so serious about your career and your future, I believe no matter what healthcare program you're trying to get into, you have to 
do well in anatomy and physiology. Those are like the most important classes that they look at. Yes, micro, chem, math, nutrition, and their other electives are important, but no. Baby, they want to see what you got in anatomy and physiology. So if you can't even understand how the system is supposed to work regularly, then how are we going to trust you with the information that we're going to teach you in nursing school? And I had to learn that, y'all. So you got to make sure that you know your shit. Excuse my language. Like, you have to make sure you're on point. You have to make sure you know what's going on. You have to make sure how these systems are supposed to function. They give you a little ounce of dysfunction, but the sole focus of these systems is to know them. They're gonna want you to explain what are the main lymphatic vessels. They're gonna want you to explain how those interferons work. And you have to know these things. You have to know them. And if you don't know, do not be shy to find out. Reach out to your professor. Go to a tutor. You just have to utilize your resources if you're not understanding the material. And for the questions that's complicated, find a way to simplify it. You get a question involved in a cardiovascular system and they ask you what is a myocardial infarction. You know that's a heart attack. There's just a fancy way of them asking you what is a heart attack. Find your own little acronym. You gotta make it fun, you gotta make it creative. And the next tip would be don't get discouraged. And I say that because I wasn't scoring A's on all of my exams, but I finished the class with an A because I made sure I scored high on my labs. I made sure I scored high on my homeworks and I made sure I scored high on my quizzes. All in all, you guys, you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work. You have to put in the work. And only you can figure out which way that works for you. Learn your learning style, apply your learning style, and also put that work in. Open that textbook or that laptop every day. You have to do what you gotta do. If you got a goal and if anatomy and physiology is a stop along the way, you wanna make sure that you execute this stop to the best of your ability so you can have those chances and those high probabilities of getting into a good program. I wanna leave y'all with one last one and this is the mightiest tip I can ever, 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 ever give y'all. I got tears welling in my eyes right now because y'all, it's been a journey for your girl. From me making the decision earlier this year, like okay, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get in nursing school. I went to Community College of Philadelphia. I got my associate's degree. I initially tried to go back to Community College of Philadelphia to retake A&P for the third time. I wasn't able to go because I maxed out my financial aid there. Okay, so what's next? I wasn't stopping there. I couldn't stop there. And I was finally able to find something that makes sense to me. Okay, boom, do my financial aid, do my promissory note, do my FASFA, FOSFA, however you pronounce it. So, all right, boom, my financial aid get approved. Bet, it's up, it's up, it's up. Oh shit, I gotta pay for books though. I gotta pay for books. Y'all know these college books is like high as the giraffe ass. Like these books are so high. I'm not gonna let that defeat me. What's next? Okay, I go on Amazon. I found the book for less than $100. And it wasn't the book, it was an access code. So I, I just had access to the digital book and not the hard copy. Okay, that's fine. So now I have to transition to a digital book reader because I'm always such a physical hard copy girl. But right now that's not my circumstance. So just because I'm used to doing something one way, I'm not gonna let that deter me from doing what the hell I gotta do. Then I'm in it, I'm like, oh my God, this class is so hard. Like I didn't realize how hard this class was. The last time I took a 2 was in 2016 when I got a C, which is the reason why I had to retake it again because that's well over five years ago. And if you're applying to nursing school, your a and has to be within five years of your application. That's the whole point of me taking this class again for the third time. And a third time's a charm because let me tell y'all something. The first time I took this class, I failed. Straight F. I took it again that following semester. Still 2016, passed with a C. And I pass with my skin and my teeth like a 70. Years go by, I'm working, I got my associate's degree, I'm working, you know, whatever. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to nursing school, but I just wanna work, I wanna get some money, I wanna enjoy my life, I wanna enjoy my 20s, okay. So then a decision came back on my table. Fast forward to May of 2023, I passed A and P2 with an A. And I, I solely believe I passed because yes, I put in the work, but also I didn't give up on myself. And I'm gonna tell y'all, if these professors give you extra credit, please do it. I did every ounce of extra credit I could have done. And let me tell y'all something, that's why I got the A. My perseverance, my dedication, my discipline, my motivation, that got me an A. Not those exam grades. Y'all, I didn't do the best on my exam grades. A research paper was also a form of extra credit. 
Let me tell y'all something. My semester was over May 12th. That was the last day she said, I'm not taking no more assignments after May 12th, get it all in by today. I see my final grade, y'all. Well, I saw my, my grade, not my final grade, but you know, we use Canvas. So Canvas calculates all of your grades automatically. My grade was a 79.80%. I'm at that curve. And I asked her, I said, damn professor, I worked so hard all semester. Is there a way that I can do anything else to boost my grade up at least to a B? She said, Taylor, the only option that you have right now is to do the rest of the extra credit. Only thing left was that damn research paper. I made time to do that research paper. I did that research paper at work. I didn't leave my job till 11 p.m. I literally turned in my research paper at 10.58 p.m. and the deadline was 11 p.m. Y'all, I just, <laughs> I don't think y'all understand. Like I put in that work. That's what got me that A. That hard work, that dedication, that perseverance, that not giving up on myself, not letting people get in my ear. People was like, oh, well you already passed, so won't you just settle with the 79.80%? No, I'm not settling for that. I'm not settling for that. I exhausted all of my options until the very end. And that's my last tidbit of advice for y'all. Exhaust all of your options. I promise it's gonna work out in your favor. I'm not that traditional student that got A's in all my prerequisites. And then I went to nursing school at 23, at 23, 22 years old. And now I'm a nurse at 25. No, that's not my story. And I know it's somebody out here just like me that's an average learner, an average test taker, but you got that ambition, you got that grit, you got that hustle, you're willing to pivot. That's what's gonna get you to where you need to be. So my final grades was posted by Monday. Don't y'all know I finished my class with a 91.88%? I never in my life finished a science class with an A. The highest I ever got at any science class was a B. And that was a repeated science class. Like, I need y'all to know, anything that you want in this life, you have to go get it. Nobody's going to give it to you. And that's exactly what I did. I put in that work for it. I'm not crying on this camera because I don't want to be that girly that cry. But, y'all, I'm just so proud of myself. And I needed to come on here and share this with y'all because you don't have to be the smartest person in the class. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to get all preachy and emotional with y'all. That concludes the end of this video. If you made it to the very end, you're dedicated to your future. You're dedicated to passing these classes with an A. You're dedicated to just doing what you gotta do. And I'm proud of you. Let's do it together. Let's do this together. Please connect with me. Talk to me in the comments. Email me, DM me on Instagram. Write me, whatever. Like find a way to get in contact with me. Let's do this together. I appreciate I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. I just wanted to share some personal tips with y'all that'll put you in the game of getting an A in anatomy and physiology. Sorry if I came off as rambling or like, you know, I just was kind of all over the place, but I'm just a passionate person and I'm going to talk and I'm gonna make it do what it do. Nonetheless, I appreciate y'all so much for tuning in and watching this video. Best of luck to you guys in your career. Best of luck on your journey. I will see you guys in my very next video. And if you're interested in any more like science, healthcare, nursing type of content, please let me know. The goal is to eat, right? Yeah, of course the goal is to eat. But remember, you gotta go be the one to go get that food to put on the plate. Everybody always wanna talk about the table and the plate, but nobody ever really wanna talk about who gonna put the food on the plate. You have to put the food on the plate to go get what you want in this life. Let me tell y'all one more thing before I go. Manifestation is a real thing. When I first took this class, I said, I'm gonna pass this class with an A because I knew that my mindset has shifted and my goals and my priorities have shifted as well. I'm telling y'all, like, Something, something came over me and was like, you're gonna get an A in this class. And that's exactly what I did. So anything you do in this life, do it with confidence, hold your head high. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see y'all beautiful people in my next video. Take care, be safe, get them A's. See y'all later.